You are not your mistakes. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this is kind of just a carryover from the last week where I actually talked about I am a 10 and perfect. If you haven't had a chance to see that one, run over and check it out. Um, it'll give more clarity on what we're kind of talking about here today. But first off, you got to understand, for me, I don't look at life as making mistakes. These are my personal ways of seeing it. Failures, you know, all the different wor words that the world, world likes to use. For me, it's the, it would be looking at a child when they're trying to learn how to walk. They're falling, they're stumbling, they're pulling up on stuff, they're doing all, all these different things. Would we, every time that child tried to pull up and falls, would we consider that a failure? And would we call that a mistake? And I just don't. I feel like life is full of actions and then there are results that come from those actions. And then based on those results, we get to decide on if we like the results. And if we do, then we continue to, to take the same action. So once that kid finds out a way to pull up on something and it allows them to start walking, they like that process. So they'll continue to do that. Why? Because they like the results that are tied to it. They're not calling themselves a failure. They're not saying it's a mistake. Why? They haven't been programmed by society yet to tell them that the decisions that they make equals failure or it's called mistakes. And that's really the idea behind this video is to get you to quit labeling things, mistakes and failures and understand that they are what they are. We all make decisions based on what we believe is the best option in front of us at this point. And so when we take those actions, sometimes we maybe didn't think them all the way through, so the results didn't come out uh, uh, the way we wish they had, or we thought we planned it out all the way and they still didn't come out. But the bottom line is they're just results that were tied to the actions that we're taking. Just like I used the analogy um, last week when I talked about making a cake. You make a cake, it comes out a certain way, it's perfect. If you don't like it, you make adjustments. It's not a mistake, it's not a failure. Why? Because if you follow the exact same script, you're gonna get the exact same re results. And I feel the same way when we're talking about mistakes. And the reason I want us to be able to uh, um, clarify that is because like if you get in a relationship and you pour your heart in, which I think you should, and I know there's people that'll tell you that you shouldn't, you give a little bit, see if they give a little bit, and depending on what they give, you play the back and forth game. I believe that would be what you could call a mistake in a relationship if you did that. And again, not using, I'm just saying mistake just so we can, <laughs> because we're talking about mistakes. But for me, it's still the same thing. Without using the word mistake, you're taking certain actions and you're looking to see the results and then you're adjusting. I personally don't believe that. Um, you should give a little, see what they give back. I believe any relationship that you're in, you give your all or don't get in. I look at it as the analogy we talked about before, going up the mountain. If you're going to the top of the mountain and you got one road going up, one road coming down, so you got to pass people, right? You don't know if the people on the other side of that road are committed to their are committed to that side of the road. Just like you don't know that the person behind you is committed to stand behind you. We don't know any of that, but there's a cliff off to the side of us. But in order for us to get to that top of the hill, we just got to go. We can't keep riding up the hill, be like every move that we make, we're so concerned about mistakes or failures as the world wants to call. It's like, no, I got to get to the top of the hill. I'm going for it and I'll make adjustments along the way. That's my point exactly. They're my, not mistakes, they're failures. You make adjustments based on the things that show up in life. And they're going to always show up. So what I was getting to, so if you get in that relationship and it doesn't work, 
It's not a mistake. And we hear this all the time where people will say, I wasted two years or I wasted three years with that person. No, you didn't. If you take the lessons that were presented the, from the actions that were taken in that relationship, there were some results. You get to look at those and take what's good and continue to use those into the future. And the things that didn't work, didn't get the results that you wanted, you adjust those so that the adjustments will hopefully make things better. It's definitely going to give you different results, but to hopefully make the next relationship better. So again, it's not mistakes because guess what? What works in this one relationship may end up to turn off in another relationship or cause issues. You guys follow? There is no set pattern. That's why what you call a mistake may be a perfect result for me. And what I call a mistake could be a perfect result for you. That's again why I said don't let anybody tell you or classify you as far as labels. You're stupid. You're, you're, uh, whether you're educated, how you look, you're fine or you're not, you're big or you're small. Other people don't get to define that for you. Only you get to make that decision. They have an opinion and it's theirs. Let them keep it. Only, only one I'm concerned about is how you feel about you and how you perceive the things that go on in your life. And so, again, the main reason I wanted to cover this mistake thing today is because if you keep looking at life as mistakes and, and then you start becoming a person that's afraid to, quote unquote, make mistakes, Instead of understanding what they really are, they're just results that came from action in which you took. When you learn to separate that, then I can start to take more action. And now I'm just looking for the results to see, do I need to make any adjustments? Does that make sense? Versus when I'm thinking mistakes, then I'm afraid to move. And in a lot of cases, I won't move. Like at a job, you get a job, you're so afraid to make mistakes, guess what you do? You quote unquote make mistakes. Why? Because you're not just going out there and doing it. Now, you know, again, based on what I'm talking about, it's not really a mistake. It's really, you made a decision, you took some action, and here's the results. It just was the results that maybe the job wanted you to put, and then you make the adjustments. So I know this is a play on words mistake changing but the reason that I'm 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 having this conversation is because words are very very powerful um I have a young man I'm talking with right now you know that I'm mentoring and I keep telling him and I keep and I told him I don't want to sound like a person who's jumping on every all the words that you're saying but you got to understand that there are power in your words and depending on how those words make you feel, you need to decide on if you can continue to use those words or not. Um, for me, and, and I have to be clear when I say that, like even I was telling him, there's certain words like try. I tell people that you do or you don't. I remember being at an event and they told a person, try to take the paper out of my hand. And the person just snatched it out of their hand and he said, no. And he took it back from him. He said, I want you to try to take it. And the person was kind of confused and then he just took it again and and he was still kind of like, I don't get it. And he said, no, no, I want you to try it. But the bottom line is what he was doing is getting the person to understand there is no such thing as try, either you do or you don't. So what I'm saying is for most people, the word try means I'm not getting ready to give my all. Why? Because I'm going to try. Why? Because I'm afraid to make a mistake. I'm afraid that uh, failure all the different labels that our society keeps throwing out, which is why I'm trying to get you to under, try. <laughs> there we go with the trying. Why I'm sharing with you a different perspective because I want you to work on getting those words out of your vocabulary if they have a negative uh, uh, meaning for you. If they don't, if they don't phase you, then use them. But you know if they do, and if they do, make the adjustments. And, and that's what I was sharing with him. The word try, and he, and he kept saying try in t each time as we were talking. We, you know, he, he'd tell me he's going to do this and this and this. And he says, well, I'm going to try. And again, I kept harping on the word because I want him to understand 
There's a difference in saying, I understand, I know, I get you, and doing. You know about something, and you could talk about a particular uh, topic, but if you're not living it, you don't know it. And that's what I was getting across to him. You can keep saying, I know, I understand, I get it. If you're not making the adjustments, then you don't know. You only know when you make the adjustments. Does that make sense? So anyway, so that's the main reason I wanted to get on here today and talk about the mistakes because we were because I was just having this conversation uh, with the, with the same person and we were going over, you know, in the relationship and they were harping on the things that they have done in the relationship, which they called mistakes. And it's kind of what we talk about red flags and, and deal breakers. For some people. The red flags and deal breakers are different things. So again, what you're classifying as a mistake may be something this person doesn't agree with, but the next person is okay with. My, my thing when I'm always telling people you make adjustments is when you start talking about, as you hear me say all the time, character and integrity. My opinion is you should always be working to improve in those particular categories. So if what the person is calling a mistake or what they're calling a failure or whatever words they want to use, if you look at those things and the results are they're not helping you build character and integrity, then make the adjustments. But the person may tell you you're making a mistake, tell you it's a failure or whatever words, again, people want to use. But you realize they actually take away from your character and they take away from your integrity, again, which would be the deal breakers and the red flags, then you shouldn't make the adjustments. Again, this is not about finding someone who's trying to recreate you or you finding someone that you recreate. When you're in a relationship, we should complement each other in a growth direction. And in that growth direction, we're both going to do things that it's considered, again, you, for lack of a word, because people like to use that, like to call it mistakes. You're going to make those. And again, for me, the reason I'm having this video and I'm, I'm sharing for me why I, I say don't look at it that way is because, again, a mistake may stop you from doing things in your relationship, stop you from having conversations with your partner because the fact is you don't want to hear the outcome. But if both of you come to an agreement and, and understand everything that we're doing is, a, is just actions, results, adjustments. Actions, results, adjustments. And we work together as a unit and our relationship works. And not me trying to call you a person that you failed or you, this, you made mistakes. You just, because for a lot of people, it's an attack and it will actually stop you from taking action. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Uh, for those of you we talk on Self Love Monday, I look forward to talking to you next week. And for those of you who are on Relationship Thursday, I'll talk to you next Thursday. And I'm and I'm pretty sure this Thursday I'm going to talk about um, what is it? Uh, my my mind went blank there for a second, but I should know because it's a conversation that me and this gentleman was talking about, and it has to do with heartbreak. That's what I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cover on Thursday because that's a I know I'm going to cover it on Thursday. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday. We'll talk about heartbreak. And then for those of you, uh, run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And uh, there you'll see all the different things that I got going on. And whatever you do, if mistake doesn't is not a negative word for you, enjoy it. Run with it. For me, it is a negative word. And I know for a lot of people, it stops them from moving forward. And that was the purpose of this video, to recognize that it's not mistakes that you're making and it's not that you're failing. It's the fact that things, you took, re you took action. There were some results. Now we get to adjust. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and enjoy the journey. All right, bye-bye.